As I'm sure you guys know, I love covering cryptids on this channel. Just the thought that there could be some unknown, massive creature out there still hiding from us just really fascinates me. And I'm sure most of you feel the same way. But we do have on this beautiful planet plenty of real monsters. Could you imagine when our ancestors came face to face with the bear for the first time? They must have been terrified. They also encountered creatures a lot bigger than a grizzly bear, like a short-faced bear. Those things were massive. And giant sloths. And many other extremely large animals. It really is amazing that we survived thus far and are now on top of the food chain. But that wasn't always the case. Now thankfully, but also sadly, we don't have monsters like short-faced bears or saber-toothed tigers, but we still have a lot of large animals roaming this earth. And I do love when I stumble upon stories about anomalies, super large animals within a species that are just a heck of a lot bigger than they should be. Like tales coming from fishermen who have come back from sea claiming that they saw a 30 foot long great white shark, which would be about 10 feet bigger than any great white we've ever measured. There are also stories of enormous 25 to 30 foot long crocodiles. But sightings of these monster crocs are rare because where they live is just so vast. But some believe they're out there. The largest crocodile today on record is about 20 feet, about the same as a great white shark, which is interesting. I remember many years ago, I was watching one of my favorite TV shows, Monster Quest. And in that show, they actually saw for once what they were trying to find. In India, eyewitnesses for years had been reporting a monster croc, far bigger than any others they had ever seen. So Monster Quest went out there in hopes that they could find it. And on the last day of the expedition, they saw it resting on the riverbank. And this thing was truly massive. Now in this Monster Quest episode, just moments before they saw the demon, that's what the locals call it, the demon, one of the guides was saying that fishermen in this area claimed that this croc was so big that it could block the flow of the river. And then after he says that, the main guy, the host, looked around and looked at how wide this river was. And he said, yeah, if the croc was 20 feet, it could indeed block the flow of this river. Then just moments later, they saw it. Now the reason I bring this up is because a lot of people dismiss eyewitness accounts. They think they're just crazy or flat out lying. But sometimes, these eyewitnesses are telling the truth. Now even though this crocodile was massive, I don't think it was as big as the elusive 25 footer that some eyewitnesses have claimed to see, but they could be out there. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I just want to point out that sometimes there are animals within a species that are just far bigger than all the others, a true freak of nature, like the massive sperm whale that inspired the book Moby Dick. And locals always call these anomalies, these monsters a demon, and these stories have just always fascinated me. While I was researching sightings for my Monsters in Texas series, from time to time I would stumble upon these awesome stories of hunters claiming that they'd encountered massive wild hogs while out hunting in Texas, as well as the other southern states. And in my last video we talked about hog hunters and that reminded me of an encounter that's just legendary. In the early 2000s hunters in Georgia were claiming that they had seen a massive wild hog that was bigger than a grizzly bear. And the locals thought that these hunters were making up tall tales, or maybe they had a little too much to drink. But one day a hunter, Chris Griffin, was hunting on a fishing hunting reserve in Georgia when he saw this beast. Chris just could not believe how big this thing was. And since he was a hunter, he wanted to shoot it, and he was able to kill it. Now at the time it was reported that this wild hog was 12 feet long and a thousand pounds. But most thought that this had to be a hoax as they believed no wild hog could be that big. So this case was like an urban legend. But then National Geographic looked into this and it turned out that this was a real hog. Although according to them, they estimated the size to be just a bit smaller, around 800 pounds and eight feet long. But that is still massive. 
Grizzly bears on average weigh about 5 to 600 pounds. So Hogzilla was bigger, at least in weight, than a grizzly bear. It really was a miracle of nature. And what I love about this story is these massive wild hogs roaming in the south were considered for a long time to be just cryptids. No one really thought they actually existed, except of course for the eyewitnesses. But now we know that they're out there. And today Hogzilla still remains the biggest wild hog ever captured. It truly was a monster. One of the experts who confirmed this case stated that he was an impressive beast, a true freak of nature. Now there are many stories out there of other massive animals just like Hogzilla, but still remain unconfirmed. Like the 50 foot snake of the Congo, or the elusive 100 foot giant squid, or the 50 foot crocodile allegedly roaming in Africa. And I'm going to cover some more of these awesome legends very soon. Now this next story has nothing to do with cryptids or massive animals or anything like that. It's about a terrifying event that happened in 1998. I was going to cover this in my Monsters in Texas series since it happened in Texas, but since this video is a bit short, I'll cover it today. When I first heard about this story, it just blew my mind and really freaked me out. There is a good theory as to what caused this, but I believe still to this day, it's just a theory. No one really knows 100% for sure what caused this mysterious, possibly deadly force of nature. In 1998, in East Texas, just out of nowhere, there were wind gusts that reached up to 170 miles per hour. And this blast of wind carved a straight line across three national parks. 100 miles of destruction. It's estimated that 4 million trees were blown down and they all collapsed in the same direction. So whatever this was, was not a tornado and it definitely wasn't a hurricane as a radar would have shown that there was a hurricane. And also, hurricanes don't blow down trees in a straight line for 100 miles. Now, thankfully this happened in the middle of nowhere, so nobody got hurt. And scientists believe that maybe the jet stream, which is normally 18 to 30,000 feet up in the sky, somehow came crashing down to Earth. But nobody knows how or why this would happen. What could cause a jet stream to fall to Earth? Others believe that this was caused by something else, something unknown. Some point to aliens or UFOs. Now whatever the case may be, it's terrifying to know that this could happen anywhere at any time. Just imagine you're outside walking when all of a sudden 170 mile an hour winds comes crashing down on you, picks you up and carries you for 100 miles. That's just terrifying. Now I don't think there's ever been another case like this recorded, making this a true mystery, something truly paranormal. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.